All right, back to back to Sandro Gaming. Sandro Gaming 2-0. Have they lost a game today? I think they've lost one game today in the previous round. Uh, so they're currently eight wins, one loss in games. If they win this game, they're going to be progressing to the playoffs. Um, and I think that they'll be first seed in the playoffs as well. So they'll be uh, in with a really good chance tomorrow of smashing the quarterfinal as well. And remember, since Sandro Gaming won the first um, event, and there there is only three events for RLCS Fall Split this season. Well, there were three events last season as well in Season X. But yes, Sandro, they won the first event. Um, so they don't you know, need to win this event to still stay in the lead. Um, the team who finished second in the last event were the Ultimates. So let's say, for example, the Ultimates don't make the final of this event. Um, and then Sandrock do make the final. That would already guarantee that Sandrock would be first place in points. Just making the final as long as the Ultimates aren't in the final. Um, now, if Sandrock Gaming and the Ultimates have a rematch in the final, the Ultimates win it this time, they would both be tied for points, uh, first place. And they would be way ahead of everybody else. Um, and it would be all on the line between those two teams in the third event for Middle East North Africa. But as is, Sandrock look like the heavy favorites because the Ultimates are struggling here and there. Um, nowhere near the consistency Sandrock have been able to have and Sandrock have dominated that matchup. So should they run into each other, it should be a good matchup for Sandrock again. Yeah, if Sandrock can win this second event as well, and right now they look great. Falcons, their you know, expected main rivals coming into the RLCS season, have struggled uh, so far. That's good work from Evil Esports here. They, they have been you know, scoring with some regularity against Sandrock. They've actually been doing a pretty good job in attack, but once Sandrock pin Evil Esports back, it's, uh, it's a lot harder to see them do well. We've just tuned in. I've actually learned the pronunciation of two. Well, actually, I, th I believe I've learned the pronunciation of the of the players from the Evil Esports. So let me share that with uh, with everybody who just tuned in. Um, the player that I've always been calling Sh 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 Shikage, I think I've been calling him Shikage. You see him in the top right there. Um, is actually Shikaji. So I would you know not have known that without the help of my Twitch chat. Shikaji. It's kind of like Chicago, but instead of go G. So Shikaji. And D, then you see a 7. Remember, 7 in Arabic, heavy H sound. So instead of just saying Doom, it's Dahum or something similar. I don't know. I'm, I need to practice that one. Ooh, Shikagi. Look at him go. Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. One of the casters said Shikagi there. So maybe they're like saying it in different ways. But one, the, one of the casters definitely saying Shikagi. And one of them is saying Shikagi. Interesting. We've got... Regional pronunciations varying in uh, the casters for KSA. Oh, <laughs> what a save! Dahum did a really good job there. Knocking it into the bar and then having it bounce safety uh, to safety is really impressive. Shikaji. And they, they do call TRK Turk. Turk. Uh, it's always Turk in uh, the Middle East streams, but I think TRK sounds way cooler. <laughs> I'll be honest. TRK definitely sounds way cooler. But I, I reckon Shikaji sounds cooler than Shikage. And Tahum sounds way cooler than Doom. Yeah, TRK is a cool... Like, There's a lot of three-letter names with three consonants in a row in esports. And I think TRK is one of the cooler combinations Omar the banana lord <laughs> thank you for the prime sub welcome to the channel resub actually uh, appreciate you yeah, I, I don't think Turk is his real name so that's just a, a nickname an in-game name yeah I don't know what the 511 means in his name oh what a save again Khaled went for full power there, didn't really mind about the placement too much. Great cut of rotation by Ahmad. So you're seeing here, you know, why it's always better to cut rotation. You know, instead of letting your third man come in here, Ahmad realizes he can just, he can get to the ball before anyone else. So why not do that? You know, if, if you see a player do that to, in your rank games, very often you'll be thinking, ah, that guy cut in front of me, what an idiot. Uh, but, you know, really... 
it's a good idea to do that. Um, much more, it's much harder to defend the, the position that Ahmad was coming from than a third man coming in. You know, if a third man comes in for that ball, the defense will probably see him coming. They can counter it, but Ahmad cutting rotation, much harder to see coming, much harder to stop. Ah, okay, so 511 is tribe code Riyadh. Tribe code? What is a tribe code? Is that like an area code? Yeah, they definitely, okay, I heard one of the casters there calling him Mish. So, yeah, Mish is Mish, as we, as we expected. Like the family, okay. A lot of tribes in the Middle East, 511 is a, is a tribe. That's pretty cool, actually. Gotcha, I understand. Pretty common thing, of course, for people to put their <laughs> their area code in their name. Uh-oh. Shikaji and Tahum need to be saved by Mish. Yeah, looks like we're just going to get the expected 3-0 here from Sandrock. They, they're just having some fun with this one. You know, they're, they're kind of double committing <laughs> on a lot of offensive plays here. I don't think that they're uh, playing with a lot of respect for Evil Esports at the moment. Because they, I think, have just full confidence in their ability to convert this series from this point and uh, not to. They're just relying on their recoveries to have a, a third man in position. I mean, this is 3 2, but they're not playing like they're at 3 2 ahead. They're playing like they're 7 2 ahead right now, Sandrock. They're like ridiculously aggressive. That's a pre jump from Ahmad. And he's on to this. You're joking. Oh! <laughs> Oh, <laughs> that would have been so sick. I'm gutted that he didn't score this. Man, they've been pre-jumping so much today. And they're actually making it work. That's crazy. That would have been a really cool one, though. Pre-jump to double tap. I mean, we're, we're still at the point in Rocket League's, like, advancing, advancement of the meta game that a pre-jump into a goal is still, like, peak. You know, that's still, like, peak ability. But pre-jump into double tap... That would have been different. Um, but yeah, Sandro Gaming advancing, so that's th them. They're through 3 0. 9 1 will be the uh, first seed going into tomorrow. So hey, look out if Falcons and the Ultimates lose one more series. Um, they're, they're doing okay right now. But if Falcons and the Ultimates, if one of them loses another series, there's a chance. But they'll come in as the last seed and have to face Sandrock in round one. And honestly, that wouldn't be a terrible thing for them. If Ultimates had to face Sandrock in round one, they'd probably not be too upset because... Well, actually, they'd be upset because they're second. But Falcons do, they, I don't think they'd be too upset because they can actually catch up to the points Sandrock Gaming have over them. Really impressive, though. Sandrock in the, in the Swiss once again. First seed. Two, two events in a row. Anyway, let's, uh, let's switch over to North America. Let's... let's Watch a North American stream and see what's happening there. That's going down in Sweden in December. So. All right, game five. The general NRG. Who do you guys think take it takes this? Type Step one in chat for now. NRG, two in chat for Envy. Winner qualifies to tomorrow as the oh, second seed. Uh, G2 have Ooh, already gone three zero three zero three zero. That was that was very frightening. That was. I thought. I mean. I've already explained that. the main difference uh, yeah, between yeah. how EU and NA play Rocket League a few times today and a few times in other streams recently. But the the short answer to that question, because it's it's being asked so many times recently, what are, what is the main difference in how EU and NA play Rocket League? EU pressured the ball a lot more. That's the short answer. EU just pressured the ball more. That's all you need to know. But yeah, look out for that in when you're watching the games. You'll see what I mean. That's all you need to know, and you'll be able to spot um, plenty of instances of this happening. Short answer, EU ball chases. True. That's another way of saying it. But when I say EU ball chases, it's less of a, uh, it's less descriptive of what's actually happening. So yeah, I, t I tend to say that they pressure the ball more because when you say ball chase, people don't often associate that with ball pressure. They associate it with like, you know, plat play where everybody's just chasing the ball around. So it's hard to get a mental image of what we're really talking about here. Oh, that was a nice fake. Although defenders should usually challenge low enough to get a touch there. Uh oh. This is a, a bit of an unfortunate clear there for um, NRG. Justin just totally beans it. He thought he thought he could hit okay. it further towards his teammate, I think, but he okay. uh, 
Probably should have just tried to drop it down or keep Four it in the corner. In the yeah, you heard an uh-oh there because somebody yeah, messed up. See, I say uh-oh when somebody messes up. It's not really an uh-oh, my favorite team's getting scored on. It's more like uh-oh, somebody beamed it. That's that's when I say uh-oh. <laughs> when I'm casting at least. Because that's, that's the category that that phrase falls into for me. Squishy setting up Garrett. Garrett has Justin in the middle, but the ball and yeah, thank away. goodness Turbo went there because that this is like so much space. space. However, ball bounces right back really good pass. Really well done. Top shelf. This is a lot harder to stop. So this isn't as much of a telegraph pass. We got 50-50. Mist is just right there, and you can see that with the angle, Mist is running at the ball. He yeah, could be shooting. That's a really good yeah, thing the, to the to do when you're passing really well. the ball infield kind of is threaten a shot line up in a way that you could be shooting because then the defender has to cover the goal um, and it's harder to cover the pass. If you're not threatening a shot and you intend to infield pass, it's really, really risky because the defender might just see that and dive in and intercept. 3-0, what happened? Um, Envy have taken their chances pretty well. They're actually, they actually they weren't shooting all that well earlier on this series, but now they're shooting well. Um, a little more space, but... And yeah, Justin so accidentally assisted them for the second Just goal. The backboard, big boom. Oh, quarter corner double. It did bounce through. Garrett wasn't able to read that was a good double. job by Turbo staying active in the play there. Didn't know if anybody would get a touch. Atomic, atomic. So he just it's stayed in the play anyway. Alright, this one halfway over. Things are starting to change here. But Envy, staying on top of the ball, this aggressive style is working out really well. It's pretty game. cool though. So Envy, if they beat NRG, that means that both of the grand finalists from North America's first event are going to be coming into day two of the second event with a non-perfect score. And yeah, I don't think that's all that surprising. Oh, that's a good, <laughs> that's a really good fake again. Look at Justin. Big bump yet, by Squishy guys. actually as well. Right. Look at this. <laughs> I think missed. It looked like missed yeah, accidentally so double jump there. Was that? Much time on the clock <laughs> was that an accidental double jump? His double jump at that play made absolutely no sense. Yeah, I think he just double jumped by mistake. He meant to flip. Because <laughs> there's no reason to double jump there. The ball, you know, might be getting flicked high, but you still don't want to double jump. You want to flip into it. <laughs> I think it was a good idea to mind game, though, for sure. It's a good play. What save? Well done by Justin. Oh, Garrett beans it. <laughs> tried to pick up the ball, but accidentally drove under it. Dangerous moment for the general NRG on defense. <laughs> Difference between Regis, accidental double jump. I bet EU's got more accidental double jumps, to be honest, because EU's like panicking a lot more in defense more often. Because um, when the other there, team's pressuring you more, you tend to panic more. So EU probably panics more in defense. The pinch pass oh. over. <laughs> Garrett, I thought that was going to be an uncle. SSG, Ghost also went to game five. Over to miss. Miss, oh, what a save. Whoa. And they're not going to score off this. Really good play by Tarbo, though. Zero boost, and he still intercepts the passing play. However, the general, the general NRG happy to get out of that one without conceding another goal. And we have definitely deserved this game so far. They have space, something that they haven't had all game uh -oh. long. That's a free ball. Mist beating it. Mist has beaten it, it past tense. And NRG within one, Mist should have this, but look at the position he's in. Oh, he's such a weird position. It's so awkward. He did not expect the ball to go so close to him. He didn't realize it was going to be like pretty much right above his head. And what should have been a routine clear has actually just bounced into the middle of the box unde like undefended. Weird bounce? Uh, I don't think so. It didn't look like a weird bounce to me. It looked like a pretty readable bounce for a player like Mist. Um, if he didn't put himself in a weird position. I think Mist just mispositioned more than anything else. He should have had that. And they can afford to give up maybe at least yeah, one difficult bounce to read for an average Rock League player, but for a pro, that's an easy bounce. Reading the down bounce is standard Turbo's these days. It's a good job by Atomic to not get dunked on there. That was the key. Um, and now they just want to take a 50 in the back corner. Yeah, really good play by Miss. 
that draws in at least two players. You're getting a, one player at the game of the 50-50, then another player has to play the ball, so... Uh, it should be a, it should be game over, yeah. <laughs> no! That was a good series, though. Neck and neck. Oh, wow. There you go. That, that was fun. Good cast by Dazrin and James. Super biased, but that's what we expected. Right, we'll come back to the NRG game. We've got to see this. This is more important. Phase on the brink. True neutral up 2-0 against them. I thought I thought FaZe were going to have a good time in this matchup, but I was totally wrong. Oh, Raze Bull! Vamos! Raze Bull! Look at him go. Huge bump on first killer. A third of your age? Wait, Jack, you're not 15, man. <laughs> 60 months is five years. Yeah, the score is 0-2. True neutral, one game, one and two. Look at that, corner wall pass. We've been talking about that on my stream. Underutilized pass and ranked. Yeah, the math is tough. Math is tough. Love that from Shad. Ball chasing on the recovery. Pressuring the ball to let his third man chill. Perfect play. By Shad the oh, Chad. Oh! Oh! oh. oh. Look at True Neutral go. Raze Bull threatening the double, had all eyes on him. AJG knew that he was faking. Raze Bull must have called that in comms. He said he was missing or faking. What's faking in Spanish? He probably said that. And then uh, uncontested shot for AJG. FaZe not splitting their defense well on that play. They should have had one player covering the, the double tap and one player covering the pass, but they just both covered the double tap. Moist Esports popping off. Yeah, hey, the, if this isn't going to get them signed by someone, I don't know what will. They beat the defending champions in the Swiss. Who's that to? Illusion. Seeing ghosts. Whoa. What's happening? Yep, infield pass covered. They've got uh, they've got him on lockdown right now. Phase panicking. Phase definitely panicking. They're they're expecting big plays from True Neutral in every single play at this point. Great save by Raze Bull. He's got his teammate following up as well. Just don't, don't give first killer the ball. It's, it's, I think it's AJ actually who's been the, the disruptor for FaZe. First killer's kind of chilling in defense. And he's letting AJ run riot. That was what he said in the last series against NRG, I believe. Oh! Oh, you don't want to stay in that one! <laughs> <laughs> AJG just turns around. He just dribbled in a circle. Oh, he got the bump on first killer, though. Huge bump on first killer. What was that? <laughs> oh, that was that was going to be so funny if they scored while the goalkeeper just there, helplessly unable to do anything. <laughs> he spiked dribbling it back again. Another back pass. <laughs> Look at the possession focus gameplay by True Neutral. They're not giving it away. Great pass, and that actually covered by AJG as well. Really well done. Shock said true neutral is going to slowly decline. Why would they slowly decline? If they're able to be this good while playing in South America, they're only going to get better while playing in North America with fair ping. True neutral are thriving. Absolutely thriving. Oh, AJG is just in their box. <laughs> He's just there. <laughs> It's a good demo. Bump onto first killer's air dribble though. Leaves Ray's bullet to contest on like uh, on challenge. Really good defense by True Neutral here. They're pressuring the ball every single time that FaZe attack. And that is stopping FaZe short um, of shooting range. This is this is what you need to do against really mechanical teams like this. You need to challenge them. You need to go out there and put pressure on the ball. Force them to get that touch before they're at your backboard. True Neutral are, are schooling him at the moment. Oh, that's a good bump, actually. AJ's opening the goal. Not, not able to get it on target, though. So where's the challenge? We don't know how much boost Raze Bull has in this overlay. He didn't have a lot. Okay, that's probably why he's not challenging. 
Phaser beating it here. They have oh, almost beamed it past tense. Yeah, it's probably just copium from Shock because he knows that, uh, you know, Ghost Gaming, they're kind of competing with True Neutral for those spots. Like, you know, number six North America is pretty hotly contested. Double commit, no contact. Great recovery by First Scaler, though. Rapido. I think that means fast. Oh, Ray's Bull's going to bump him. Oh! Oh, what play? He still had his dodge. You're right, got a challenge. There it is. Nice early challenge by Shad. You don't want to back off all the way there. Giving his teammates a little bit of time to recover. And Shad the Chad. He's not done. He's just going to go all the way himself. He's going to chip it middle and demo the goalie. Okay, he's actually just going to play the ball. They, they're not afraid though. True Neutral are really not playing with fear here. Really good stuff. Illusion looking like Scrub Killer with his positioning right now. <laughs> I was roasted. Jack, did you hear my cast? Mine is Shogun's cast off you guys. Uh, against Vamo. 3 0. Oh. Phase in shambles. Yeah, Jack, did you did you hear mine is Shogun's cast off you guys against um, Semper? It was Semper. I did not hold back on your teammates in that one. <laughs> I, I did not like the way that Jarius and Scrub were positioning. I was going in. True neutral are improving. 3 1. Who said they're going to fall off? I love watching this team play. They are, they are fearless. They just go for the ball. You know, Jack, you didn't get roasted. I was actually impressed with you. Um, I'll be honest. I, I think I was saying you were the you were the carry of that one. Do you think Jory is underrated? I think Jory is rated pretty accurately. Um, I think everybody rates Jory is a lot, and I think that he should be rated a lot. You're right. Yeah, Khaled is definitely working on his aerial game, though. I don't think he had the most, like, mechanical aerial game um, when he was dominating 1v1 scene, but he was definitely underrated. People didn't realize what he could do. They didn't realize, like, uh, you know, Khaled's been flip resetting in competition since, like, early 2019. Or maybe not early 2019. Let's say mid-2019, Khaled's been consistently flip resetting in competition. Like, he's way, way ahead of a lot of... RLCS players who were later on the flip reset like learning curve than he was. It's just that you'd never see it from him because he'd rather just score a grand shot that's more consistent. Even now though, Khaled is like, he, he's, he's hitting double resets now. He's really, really good off the ceiling. He's, he's insane in the, in the air with air dribbles. So I, I think Khaled's really, he's leveled up in the, in the air for sure. You had to beat AJ to that 50-50 aerial. And that, that is no small thing. <laughs> Regional winners about to not make top 8 just shows NA's competitiveness, in, in your opinion. <laughs> I can't wait to hear the copium from Dazer and T-Bits and Roldis explaining why FaZe aren't in the top 8. I cannot wait to hear, like, every statement that they make be contradictory to when they talk about BDS losing. Like, whenever BDS lose, they're like, see? See? Oh, you mean like See? We told you. The and then FaZe losing this. It's going to be the complete opposite. They're going to just literally take the complete opposite side of the fence on every topic. Suddenly, we're going to be hearing about how deep the talent pool is in North America. For the first time ever, we're going to be hearing about, wow, look at the, how deep North America's talent pool is. We'll be like, wait a minute. I feel like I heard that before. I feel like I was saying that about some European team when they were dominating. Hmm. Oh, that's... Oh, Arsenal with a half-flip boost seal. He got demoed, but still, that's got to be painful for FaZe. Yeah, we're, we're about to hear every single argument that has ever been spoken about EU teams be flipped on their heads. <laughs> it's like when I said, uh, you know, if NA dominates MAD, it's all we would hear about. Yeah, yeah, NA would just be talking about it nonstop and how important it is and how it shows and confirms that NA is superior as a region. But because they lost... We all we hear is like, oh, it doesn't matter. You know, it, it's always they they just pick whatever works for them. <laughs> Literal bias. <laughs> I love that though. I, I enjoy that content so much. <laughs> I can't wait. There's like two demos. <laughs> he was just uh, rotating from the wrong side, unfortunately. That would have been a goal. <laughs> yeah, yeah, people don't realize. it's not The LAN isn't going to stop the debate. The debate will never stop. I mean, NA didn't even make grand... They, they lost... 
it was all EU Grand Finals for seasons two, three, and four, and people are still saying that NA is better. Squishy is the best player in the world. You know, <laughs> Whereas, like it doesn't matter what happens, there will always still be fans believing that their region is better, and that's that's fine. It's great. I think the rivalry is phenomenal, and I love that for the first time ever in the history of RLCS, it actually matters which region does better. It actually matters. Like if 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 one of the regions dominates the first major, it actually matters. It will get that region more spots for the world's uh, auto qual spots. That is, I think, so cool because now it's relevant rivalry. It's not just bragging rights. It, there's something on the line. It's so sick. No way. Our phase is really going to just be eliminated here. I don't believe this. I I just assumed we're going to go to game five because it's phase, but apparently not at this rate. Oh, maybe, the, oh no. maybe. Oh there's no shot. <laughs> Why is there no shot? The ball's just rolling across the box. Somebody oh no. shoot. Double commit. Come on, come on. Nah, Space Station are fine here. Oh, there you go. Yeah, they're still fine. This is fine. Go. That's what they needed. I think he's still, still fine. This, though, so Fifty fifties no, are great. Nice touch 50. by Sipical. This opens it up for Space Station. Yeah, EU teams will be cheering for EU teams that made LAN because now they're not your worst enemies. In a circuit format like this, they're your worst enemies. Finally, okay, finally. Come on, give us game five. We want game five. Game number four. Oh my gosh. Uh, it's a bit of a bean there from Arsenal Sipical. One of them should have been more ready to attack the ball there, but they, they had backboard and goal covered, but nobody ready to attack the ball, the second ball. Um, capitalized on by FaZe, though. Oh, no way. Oh, the bump. <laughs> oh, a huge bump. <laughs> Rails is going to be through on goal, but he just got collapsed. Good win there by AJ. That was so sick. This one down. He doesn't have a whole lot of help yet on the SSG side, so yeah, I think Rettles and Arsenal made the right call. Stay oh, on the bumps again. Trying to. Rettles getting bullied right now. Oh. Defense. Oh, AJ wins that challenge. Wait. Rettles gets this over to Sipical. Oh. Looking for. <laughs> ah! SSG. <laughs> what are they doing? In the game. No, you don't play the ball. You have to. Oh, he pre-flips. <laughs> oh no. Never seen it. We'll take it. That's why sometimes you don't <laughs> you don't want to play the ball when you're recovering. You want to go for demos and bumps, not not the ball, because you might just own goal or outplay your last man. No way, that's just in, isn't it? Okay. Another one. Another one. I can't believe that. Fays are gonna be so so mad. Guys, my heart is racing right now. It sounded pretty calm, Trihus. <laughs> he said his heart's racing. He's like calmly said, my heart's racing. Wait, this could be bad, actually, for SSG. They're all the near post. Any center ball is a goal here. Okay, it's gone way over, unfortunately, for them. Game over. If that if that centered low, it was a free goal for FaZe, actually, but it went high. Didn't hit the ceiling. Wow. Easy. What a meme region North America is. You guys have just got no consistency. What is this? NA champions eliminated? You guys laugh at a vitality? What about FaZe? Literal champions la what, last fortnight? A couple weeks ago they were the winners and now they're not even in? What a meme region. What is going on? Who did FaZe lose to again? Oh yeah, they lost to Envy. That's fair enough. But getting swept by True Neutral. Come on. That should not happen how do you get swept by true neutral true neutral are good i think they're the sixth best team in uh, north america right now they're the team closest to the big five um but you should not be getting swept by true neutral today that is unacceptable space station as well losing to ghost that that's what made this possible the fact that space station lost to ghost and phase lost to true neutral i don't know how that happened but i'm delighted for true neutral and um, delighted to see some NA teams challenging the big five for the first time. This is, this is sick.